And with me now is Florida Gators gymnast Jasmine Foberg. Jasmine, it's a pleasure to meet you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely anytime. So before interviewing a gymnast, I typically uh, go on the USA Gymnastics uh, website, go for, for the specific profiles. One of your answers, and of course these answers are outdated, one of your answers has me concerned. Your favorite subject in school was math? Yeah, it used to be. Not so much anymore. <laughs> Ew. Why? I, uh, I was just really good at math when I was younger, but not so much math in college. <laughs> Do you have a favorite subject in college? Um, well, I'm studying uh, family, youth, and community sciences, so it's a lot of like kid development and stuff, so I'm really interested in that. Wonderful. Well, we do have to talk about an internship that you just had uh, with University of Florida's Child Life Specialist Department. How was that overall experience? Must have been pretty cool. Uh, that was amazing. I had a really great time uh, working with the Child Life Specialists and with the kids in the hospital, and it's something I want to do when I get older. Yeah. I actually, uh, I'm in grad school here in St. Louis uh, at SLU, and in January, so less than a month here, I'm doing my 600-hour practicum at St. Louis Children's Hospital. Please wish yeah. me luck. I feel like I'm probably going to need it. Yes, good luck. That's something I'm probably going to have to do, too. So <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful experience. So you've had an interesting roller coaster of a career with the Gators. Your freshman year was successful, uh, but your sophomore year, uh, which was pretty well publicized, had you sidelined. Uh, the entire season because of a surgery what did you learn about yourself over the course of that sophomore season um that was a difficult season for me but it really helped me like see the team atmosphere and see how much I could help the team separate from being on the sidelines and it really motivated me to come back and get back strong for the next two years yeah. I really love I was watching I believe it's called Gator Vision uh, and it was a spotlight or a feature on you I really love how much of a support you were for your team, rather than kind of being sad, maybe even feeling a little defeated, you were, yeah. you were that positive energy that the team needed. That's wonderful. Yeah, that was a great different role. I actually enjoyed, like, stepping off to the side and really supporting my teammates and giving them what they need. Yeah, absolutely. You've always been known as a chill gymnast. What do you attribute your calm demeanor, be, uh, you know, during training, before competition, too? Yeah, um, I've always been like that. I just don't really get too overwhelmed, and I don't really stress myself out. I know it's just a sport at the end of the day, so... I just really have fun with it and just relax when I'm competing. When you were on the sidelines, it was probably a really nice uh, attribute for your team to kind of get that calmness. You probably kind of spread that throughout. Yeah, a lot of the girls who get like anxious before they compete, they like to have me come up and talk to them and just like calm them down because they know how I am when I compete. So I just give them like a little pep talk. <laughs> Are you like naturally calm or do you have any like specific rituals that kind of keep you calm? No, I don't. I don't do anything before. I'm just like... It's just when I get in the, in the zone, I don't really stress out and I don't really think about much. So That's pretty freaking awesome. That's going to be a great life skill for you. You'll never get nervous. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so to come back earlier this year, your junior season, uh, and compete, how did that feel? That must have been great to finally get back uh, to gymnastics. Yeah, that was a great experience. I was a, it was hard to come back. I didn't think it was going to be that hard now that I'm a little older, so I was only able to compete ball. But it was really great to see how my teammates supported me when I came back into my first fall. Now, what was the uh, recovery process like? I'm assuming it did take all season your sophomore year to, to recover from. Yeah, it was about a six-month recovery, so it took a while. And then after that, trying to get my strength back, trying to get – it was a long process. <laughs> how are you feeling going into your senior year this upcoming season? It's right around the corner. Uh, I feel great, and I'm really excited to show how hard I've been working and – how hard I worked to come back from my injury and just give it all for my senior year. And you're not nervous at all, let me guess. <laughs> not really. I'm more excited to show uh, how hard my team and I have been working. Walk me through a, a typical uh, training day. I, I know with COVID, things may have been a little weird uh, at first, but what does a typical day look like for you training-wise? Uh, so training, we normally uh, come in like an hour before, do some treatment, do whatever we need to work on. And then we line up as a team and there's normally like a gator of the day and the gator of the day says a quote, a little background of what the quote means to them. And then they pick a word and then we all chomp on the word together. And then we start running in a circle, warming up, stretching. We do a little conditioning and then we break out into groups. And you, so most of the time you get to choose what event you want to start on in a group. And then we all rotate. And then at the end, um, we do all do a stretch together, and then we uh, huddle up and, like, break it down together at the end. 
Yeah, I have so much respect for athletes in general. I mean, I literally just walked up and down the stairs right before this interview, and I was feeling a little bit gassed. I was feeling a little bit out of breath. So much respect for you guys. I have no idea how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> so is there any sadness? I know it's probably more uh, excitement, but is there any sadness being that this is your final year uh, competing with the Gators? Um, yeah, a little bit. I'm kind of sad that um, it's a COVID year, so it's not going to be the same as normal. And it's my last year, so that's the sad part. But still, it's a great opportunity to um, work together with the team and find new ways to battle this pandemic we're in. I feel like, and this is just my opinion, I feel like you'd be a wonderful uh, coach, gymnastics coach one day. Is that ever something of interest for you? Uh, yeah, that always, ever since I was little, I wanted to be a gymnastics coach. But as I got older, it wasn't always something I wanted to do, but it's always in the back of my mind. Like, I've always kind of want to <laughs> I think you 100% should so uh what are fans going to see from you this uh upcoming season what should they expect uh right now I'm working really hard on vault and bars I was working hard on floor but um like a few like a little ankle problems so I'm stepping away from floor for a, just a little bit but I'm pushing for vault and bars really hard this year so I do have to ask you, whenever you're not competing, whenever you're not training, what do you like to do in your free time? What do those activities look like? Um, I really like, since I'm in Florida, I like to lay out at the pool. We have a really nice pool at my apartment complex. So I like to do that. Or I just like to like run around, go to Target, do little errands here and there. I saw that you uh, back in New Jersey love going jet skiing. I have oh, yeah. never been on a jet ski in my life. That's low-key one of my biggest fears. I have no idea why. <laughs> I love jet skiing. It's amazing. And we also, we got a boat at, back at home. So during the summer, I was like on the boat and jet skiing, which is, I'm really a, like an ocean, like water girl. <laughs> the boat is fine. Like, I feel like I do okay in the boat because I don't see myself falling out of the boat. Yeah, but the jet yeah. ski, I feel like if I hit one weird wave, then I'm just 100% going to like flip the thing. Yeah. And then I, I, I mean, I, my swimming ability is like 1.2 out of 10. It's really bad. Yeah, I'm not the greatest swimmer either, so, but. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll try jet skiing, but here in St. Louis, we have, like, Creveport Lake, and the water is, like, yeah. uh, it's kind of like a greenish. Oh, it's, okay. it's like, if I fall in that, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, and I don't think it'd be smart, you know, Jasmine? Yeah, you don't know what's under there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So what advice do you have for the next generation of gymnasts? What piece of advice would you offer uh, a future gymnast? Um, for college, so. I feel like my college experience flew by so fast. I think just in, literally enjoy every moment you get with your teammates and just like the team atmosphere and especially the Gator atmosphere. I mean, it's been so great to be um, a Gator gymnast as well as a Gator student. So I think just cherish every moment and live in the moment. Yeah, well, that is absolutely wonderful. Jasmine, I cannot wait to watch you this upcoming season. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely spectacular. I'm going to leave the floor to you. If there's anybody you'd like to thank, uh, and how can people find you on Instagram, on Twitter, all that good stuff? Yeah, I want to thank just everyone, my family, my friends, my coaches, just everyone who's always there to support me. It's been a great journey so far. My Instagram is just my first and my last name. It's Jasmine Foberg. So is my Twitter. Same thing.